Hello friends, welcome to Technique. This is Normal here, and in this video, we'll show you how to set up this Mi Box 4K, uh, the Ultra HD streaming player which runs on Android TV. So, how to set it up? What are the uses? And how the interface is? We'll talk about all those in this video. So, this is the new uh, Mi uh, Box which was announced, uh, which has support for Google uh, Chromecast and it also supports the uh, google assistant 4k support is there it is powered by the latest version of android you get all the apps like youtube hotstar netflix uh, prime video a uh, lot of apps are there so uh, what are the use cases of this so that's what we are going to try out in this video so first of all we have a tv here so you can see this is a, a pretty old android tv this is kind of a, a tv from 2018 and uh, the important thing about this tv is that i haven't got any sort of updates uh, on this tv now what happened uh, when there is no updates is there some of the apps especially if you open youtube uh, you can't actually play youtube because it's saying that uh, uh, this uh, tv has older version of uh, youtube and you need to update it and i don't have an update for this tv so what happens is i can't actually use the official android uh, youtube app on this android tv because the software has not been updated so probably it might be released at uh, a later stage but as of now you can see that uh, two years down the lane uh, this tv cannot even play youtube app or uh, say for example netflix support is not there few apps don't uh, open even the hotstar doesn't open on this tv so you can actually use the browser for all this purpose but then that's not the experience you expect from a smart tv to fix those uh, issues what you can do is if you have a non-smart tv or just regular uh, tv even if it is not smart if you have an hdmi port what you can do is you can use uh, you can turn that into a smart tv with this uh, mi box 4k so we'll show you how to set it up so we'll just uh, quickly open the box package here so there you go if you open you can see this is the me box so just taking this out so this is a very small me box so we'll show you how to set this up then inside the me box uh, you also get this um, manual so this is the manual uh, which comes with the box package uh, then let's see what else comes inside so we have this uh, adapter so uh, this is the adapter which uh, can be used for uh, powering on then you get the HDMI cable uh, which is included in the box package uh, to connect uh, your Mi Box with uh, the TV. And finally you also get this remote. Uh, so this has a uh, Netflix Prime Video support, Google Chromecast and uh, you can see that Google Voice Assistant is also included. So uh, this is what we are going to set it up. So uh, let's set up this box. So so this is the Mi Box uh, 4K. So you can see it's very compact. Uh, it's it's uh, the size of your palm and uh, you can see the uh, Mi Box mentioned here. So in terms of ports, you can see that there is a USB port included uh, to connect your uh, pen drives. And then there is an HDMI port uh, for uh, connecting your Mi Box to the TV. There is audio uh, output and uh, the power port. So these are the ports included. So now let's connect uh, this Mi Box uh, uh, to this uh, TV which uh, has an older version of Android so let's get started with that so now uh, it shows the setup instruction so I have to press uh, those buttons uh, with uh, the uh, Mi Box uh, here so so let's just press here so now this is the setup uh, screen so click uh, next uh, with English now you can see there is an option to quickly set up your TV with Android smartphone. So if you are using an Android smartphone, you can actually uh, set up it pretty easily. So uh, click continue uh, to set up with uh, your Android smartphone. Now what you need to do is uh, open your Android smartphone. Now open the Google app uh, which is pre-installed on your Android smartphone. Now what you need to do uh, here is uh, uh, type or say OK Google uh, and set up my device. So let's do that now and you can see the Mi Box 4 in the list and pair it with that. Okay Google, set up my device. Click next. Now it will be searching for uh, the devices uh, in the, uh, the same connection. So we'll just uh, wait for this. So it is now connecting. So you can see that now uh, the code is mentioned here. So you can see the same code uh, on the TV display as well. Now click uh, next here then copy uh, to your new accounts i mean you need to copy your account to your new device so just click copy now you need to select uh, your account so i just selected my uh, gmail account which is on my smartphone uh, to copy to uh, the mi box so now it's copying uh, your account now you will also copy your wi-fi connection that's more important if you don't have an android smartphone you can go the other way uh, by manually setting it up but then most of us use android smartphone that's why we have showed this method so now copying your account so now we can see that uh, it's successfully signed in now let's accept all these things 
so click location so these are like uh, you can uh, choose what you want uh, whether you want it uh, so now next final step is get better voice control on your tv so you just click continue so you can get google apps uh, from the play store to uh, talk to the google assistant then cast your uh, cast to your tv this is having chromecast built in so you can cast uh, to this android box so now you can see that the, the default android uh, um, um, interface is available here so this is what you see uh, on uh, all the android tv so this is the standard android interface uh, you can see now now there is an update here so you can uh, go here and uh, see the update so checking for new updates since uh, your wi-fi connection is already connected so there is an update uh, for the mi box uh, out of the box uh, when you open it so you can uh, download it so we'll just download this in the meantime we'll just see uh, here so you can see here all the apps are there netflix is there prime video is there uh, youtube and you can go ahead and uh, 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 download additional apps from the play store so there is there is some apps featured on the play store so you can download all those apps so this is how the mi box functions and now uh, now onwards uh, you don't need uh, your existing tv interface all you need to do is uh, power on your tv connect to the hdmi all done uh, now the mi box will be showing you the complete interface uh, with uh, the latest version of android now additional options are there there is support for dolby in case your tv supports that there is 4k support uh, uh, and uh, then uh, you get this google chromecast uh, google voice assistant everything is there open netflix So now you can see that uh, the Netflix has been opened. So this is how it works. So you can also cast uh, your uh, uh, other, uh, for example, Android uh, smartphone or your laptop to this uh, TV because this has Android, uh, I mean, Google Chromecast support because this is an Android TV. So everything is inbuilt. Now this is the remote. Uh, uh, we just uh, show you the remote once again. So we have this uh, button for Netflix, Prime Video and uh, apps, uh, uh, back button, home button. Then uh, we have the... Uh, uh, Google uh, voice assistant then volume up and down keys are included so this is a very small remote uh, it's a pretty compact remote uh, you get these buttons and uh, uh, it works pretty well so this is how you can set up the Mi Box and convert your existing not smart TV uh, to an Android TV with all the app support and uh, this is a very useful uh, product actually this uh, if you are having an existing uh, basic TV uh, this is something which is really useful because uh, uh, you get all the basic apps without having to upgrade your TV. Now, most of the uh, TVs uh, uh, in India uh, may not be having uh, Android updates uh, on a regular basis. So this is something which is quite useful. 3500 for the Mi Box. All you need to do is uh, buy this Mi Box and convert uh, it to a latest Android version TV. Uh, without having to uh, uh, invest on a new tv because new tvs are expensive obviously now it has become cheaper but then again uh, uh, you need to invest on a new tv but if you have a very large tv uh, without support for uh, these smart features you can get this with the mi box so that was the mi box configuration and setup so we highly recommend the, the mi box uh, if you have a non-smart tv or a tv without the latest android apps then this is highly recommended uh, Mi Box. Now there are other players as well in the uh, the Mi Box, I mean uh, the streaming category. Uh, but then Mi Box has this speciality that uh, this uh, has a very uh, cool interface and supports almost all features. So that's the Mi Box configuration setup and uh, uh, how to use it. Uh, so hope this video was useful. Do hit that like button and also hit the red subscribe button for more videos. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you in our next video. Have a great day.